RE8 is a survival horror game where you play as Ethan who fights tooth and nail to get his daughter Rosemary back from a village in Eastern Europe. Baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my 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 baby back, baby back. After a couple of runs, I noticed how I didn't like how the game was structured. In RE2 Make and 3 Make, the games are cut into chunks. So for instance, in 2 Make, there's a police station, sewers, and the lab. In 3 Make, there's the city, sewers, hospital, then the lab. RE8 is the same way. Castle, dollhouse, drown houses, factory. So, I decided to take it upon myself to talk about how I would change RE8. I'm just gonna skip the intro here because there's nothing to really talk about. But while that's happening, only 1% of you are subbed and I'm close to reaching my goal of 500 subs. So if you wanna see more and help me out, like and subscribe. Thank you. This is where the story will split into two paths. Event A. Ethan is dragged to an area near the John houses where Moreau is located. Let's say the first wing key part is also there since flask order doesn't really matter. Event B. The events stay the same until you complete the castle. After Ethan uses payback, Lady D angrily flies around the village. Ethan does Ethan shit, somehow having Lady D drop you in the drought houses. This means Ethan escapes the castle and leaves Lady D a very angry vampire. Up next is Heisenberg. Let's see what you're really made of. Ethan Fun fact. I didn't know his name was Carl for some reason. I thought it was Sam. Here's my idea for the factory section of the game. Lady D follows Ethan to the factory, still upset that her daughter's got Mandingo. Get it? Cause it's like Mandingo. You'll run into her as you progress through the factory, watching Mommy Dom lose her temper as she just barely catches you. As she tears through the factory, Ethan will run into her from time to time up until he meets with Chris. There can be some dialogue where Heisenberg and Lady D argue about who's gonna get Ethan first, followed by a cutscene where Carl summons his robot army to take care of Alcina. Ethan fights Heisenberg until the factory explodes and that's when Lady D shows up. She's damaged from trying to fight off Carl's robot army while also making attempts on Ethan's life. Now. Ethan has to fight them both at the same time while they fight each other. Heisenberg's on his Magneto shit. Destructor, you have lost! Magnetic Panther, Gravity Screams. You are defeated. Lady D scratching and summoning bugs to rip apart Heisenberg while trying to keep tabs on Ethan. There's parts in the fight where you can make them hit each other for extra damage since they're both after Ethan. But when one of them bites the dust, you can finish off the other. After that, things can play out the same way from there. Ethan gets his goaded father of all time award and the story of the father ends. My plan was to switch some sections around to make the game kind of flow better in my opinion. It's probably not the best way to change things so let me know how you change them down below in the comments section. If you're wondering about the DLC with Rose, I haven't played it yet so I'm not sure if my events would conflict with hers. I'm gonna assume they don't though. I stream at twitch.tv slash pk squared but I don't have a schedule. Oh, Jesus Christ! I'm having ideas of doing a Village of Shadows run on RE8 so if you want to see that just let me know in the comments. Follow me on Twitter at pk cubed. If you enjoyed the video like and sub for more. More content coming your way.